I just heard the Holy Spirit say this. God pays attention to those that are paying attention. Remember this wisdom statement. God pays attention to those that are paying attention. God pays attention to those that are paying attention. The fact that you can pay attention, it shows that focus is money to God's wisdom. Focus, even focus is a currency, is a transaction between you and God to get an exchange. Something that God has right now in the next five minutes will sustain you for the next five years. Something that God has for the next hour will sustain you for the next 20 years. God pays attention to those that are paying attention. There's something in the Lord's heart that's supposed to be in my heart. There's something in the Lord's thought life that's supposed to be in my thought life. There's something in the Lord's grace that's supposed to be in my grace. Hold on, baby. Hold on, I'm coming. Here you go. There's something in the Lord's emotions that's supposed to be in my emotions. <laughs> Girl, you... <laughs> Glory to God. Another thing, 30-second wisdom. Never just blatantly say words because words create events. It creates moments. It creates mindsets. It creates encounters with spirits, either the spirits of God or the spirits of the devil. When I say the spirits of God, I'm talking about the holy angels, the host of heaven. Even the slightest, slightest words that you speak, you may think that is nothing, but God is listening to it. If you get the recollection that God is listening to you, your words will be more profound. The Holy Spirit, what happened, baby? You did this. If your words, if your words are in the alignment that God wants, it will create what God wants you to have. Lastly, there's something in God's mouth that's supposed to be in my mouth. There's a vocabulary that belongs to the Lord that really belongs to me. There is angels that's in the Lord's presence that really are scheduled to be in my presence. I have to become a magnet to attract what God has with him with me. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. That's you seeking God, the king. All of the things being added, those things, every other thing is angels, is his scenery, it's his thoughts. It's his mindsets, it's his emotions, it's the lifestyle he lives. Dominion is the receptivity of God's posture. Dominion is the receptivity of God's posture. Do you want to know God's stance? His stance is in dominion. What does his stance look like? Dominion. What does his stance do? Dominate. 